Hey guys, it's Lano here. Today we're gonna to talk about Anki. You've heard me mention it in my previous videos. So today we're gonna to find out what Anki is, why we need it for our studies, and how we're actually gonna use it, set it up and so on. So let's get straight to it. So you wanna know what Anki is? Anki is a space repetition software. What is a space repetition software? A space software, space repetition software is basically a piece of software that allows you to memorize, a whole bunch of information in the most efficient and time effective way. If you're not using it for your studies, whether your A-levels, your university degree, then you're wasting your time and they're gonna throw your degree and your A-levels. I don't know what you're doing right now. I use it during my A-levels and I got three A's. So that's enough said about Anki. Um, so how does it work? It works by essentially making you recall a piece of information at a point in time when you're just about to forget it. What does that do for you? Basically, when you do recall it at that point in time when you're just about to forget it, it increases your ability to recall that information. In other words, it strengthens that memory. To put it in very simple terms. Don't overthink it, but just know Anki works magics for memory. Magics? It works magic for your memorization and you should use it in all your studies not just your language studies and yeah now let's move on to why why do we actually need anki because to answer that question in language you need to memorize vocabulary sentences grammar you basically need to memorize a whole bunch of information what's the best way to do that well it's definitely not killing billions of trees just because you want to make nice notes in your notepad and your colorful highlighters and make tons of nice, you know, and get a massive collection of notebooks and pads and all that kind of stuff. No. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, just use Anki. Um, you get my point, you get my point. Anyway, let's go straight to my computer and find out how we set it up. Bye. Okay guys, here we are on my computer and I'm gonna show you how to download Anki and just set up everything you want to need to get started on your Japanese studies. So let's quickly get straight into this video. Okay, first I'm gonna search Anki, yeah? Anki on Google, click the first link, click download, takes you to the bottom. If you're a Windows user, click download Anki for 64 Windows, um, 64 bit or whatever bit window you have. Uh, computer you have mine 64 bit so i'll download this one if you're a mac user click the mac tab click this done easy okay so click open file okay so i do have to show you guys okay put it in the right location i'm gonna put it install so okay let's install it now i think i'll skip this part once it's finished installing click close and then you should on your desktop have an app looking like this ignore these looking like Anki, looking like this this is anki right step two we are then going to go and create an anki account so we go back to google and this time we search anki web we click login anki account login it should take you to it should take you to this login page we do not have an account i mean i have an account that I made for the purpose of this video. However, you guys don't have an account, so what you obviously do is click sign up, put in your email, put in your email again, put in the password you want, password you want, click sign up, it will then send you a verification email. You click on, you go to your email, click verify, then your account set up. Then you come back, click account login, sign in, click login, boom. Then you should be on this page, right? Everyone's following so far, nothing too complicated, right? You've now logged in onto Anki Web using your account that you've set up and verified. Now, we're now going to, I'm gonna show you how to get shared decks. All the links that you need to get started on your, on your journey learning Japanese, the links to the decks that you need will be all in the description. However, I'm just gonna show you how to get some of them in this video. So you then, once you've logged in and it's showing you your decks here on Anki Web, you click get shared decks first a couple of decks we want to get is from the ones i've shared with you guys so I'll just search my name 
in this in the bra in the thing here Lionel versus Japanese click search you have three decks here you have the Kana deck which is Hiragana and Katakana Lionel versus Japanese card format and the Lionel Kanji radical deck deck all three of these you need to download so let's click the first one scroll down to the bottom you click download it will show up like this then you drag you put it like this go to your downloads and you drag it to your desktop or somewhere where you know you can easily find it because we're going to need it later yeah i've already got them all lined up here ready so i don't have to do that you click back you do that for the other card formats lano versus japanese card i mean the other add-ons um add-on uh other decks sorry but we are going to be getting add-ons as well so you click that boom you download it drag it to your desktop repeat the process go back boom download repeat the process then next you then search core 2000 the core 2000 do you, if any of you guys have not watched my video on the age and the refold method i should put it somewhere on the screen but those who have this is the next video you should be watching remember how in the refold method it said that you need to learn the most common 1,500 to 2,000 words. And finally, we have stage one, part C, jumpstarting your comprehension. This is whereby you increase your comprehension of the target language by learning the most common grammar and vocabulary. By the time you learn around 1,500 to 2,000 of the most common words in your target language, you should be able to notice around one to two words every sentence that you hear in your target language. One thing you should know is that you will be studying your vocabulary every day using Anki and you don't necessarily have to hit that 1,500 mark of most common vocabulary in order to move on to stage two. But that does it for stage one. Let's move on to stage two. Now this is this deck right here, the Japanese Core 2000 deck series, step one all the way to 10, are the 2,000 most common words with audio and sentences that you're gonna you're going to use these decks basically to learn those most common words. So obviously you guys want to download step one to 10, each one of them. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, 10, 10 steps. Cause there's 2000 words to learn and it's in, in 10, it's in, it's in 10 steps. Each step has around 200 words. So yeah, you click on it, scroll, sorry, scroll down, click download, drag to your desktop. You know how I told you before, same process. Then you go step two, whatever. I'm not going to download all of them because, you know, I've already got them on my other Anki account. Now, once you've got all your decks on your desktop or somewhere where you can easily access them, they should look like this. You, should, you guys might actually have more because you have 10 steps to download for the vote. I only downloaded step one and step two. Now, we are now going to open up Anki for the first time. This is the app. We double click it. When we open it up, it will look like this. Just nice and clean and slick. Then we want to click the synchronize button, sync. When we click it, Okay, when, okay, because I've already signed in. Okay, when you click it for the first time, it should pop up with a window saying to sign in. You put in the same information that you used to make, you know, you make your Anki web account. And when you click sign in, it should then ask you something about whether you want to download from Anki web or upload to Anki web. Click download from Anki web. Then you'll be on this sort of page, yeah. So just to make that clear, I'll say that again. When you first open up Anki for the first time, you click sync and then it will pop up with a window asking you to sign into your account. You sign into your account. It will ask you whether you want to download from Anki web or upload to Anki web. And then you click download from Anki web. Next, you then want to go onto top left. It says file, file import. This is where we're going to import all of our decks and add-ons that I told you guys to get. Um, so I haven't shown you how to get add-ons, I'll do that after. But here's the decks, we're gonna get our kanji deck we will use to get learn kan that we will use to learn kanji. Click open, close, done, it's there. Import, 
next to core step series. We do this for all the decks that you downloaded, which will also be linked in the description below. So don't worry about that. Import step two, boom, boom. Import the card format, Japanese card format. I'll explain all of these in my next video, everything in detail. This is gonna be a quick setup download tutorial. And it's gonna be split into two parts, so yeah. Um, what's the radical deck? Oh, we've got, okay, so how many do we have? We had one, two, three, four, five, we had six. And then we have six here. So. There. Now you just click synchronize again just to save it or whatever. Okay, okay, now your Anki should look like this. Next, we are going to go and download an add on. So the add on will be linked in the description below. When you click on the link in the description below, it should take you to um, this page. If you're on Mac, you obviously click the Mac version. You want to get the add-on that's called Japanese support. You click that, you scroll down. And it says to download this add-on, please copy and paste the following code. Copy that code. Click, um, what's it called? And you click here, tools, add-ons, and you click get add-ons. Then it'll ask for the code. You paste it into there, click OK. It's downloading the add-on again. Boom, download complete. Please restart your Anki. Um, yep, so when you ask to restart your Anki, so you close your Anki, open it back up, and the, the add-on should be ready to go. So now that does it for today's video. Um, this is I'm gonna probably split this into like three parts, something like that, because Anki, I want you guys to fully understand Anki and so on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video where I'll be teaching you um, how to use Anki, the different settings, the different options and so on. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Ja, matane.